If you've been on YouTube, you've probably seen one of those songs playing for 10 hours. It's usually a 2 minute song on repeat, and I'm sure you'll go insane were you to listen for the full duration. But what if I told you that there's one song that was repeatedly played for 3 months? To understand that story, we have to open a page in Finnish history. After the Winter War of 1939, a large portion of Finnish territory was signed off to the Soviet Union. Even after the hard-fought battles from the Finnish resistance, a small Finnish army could not phase against a world superpower. However, this Nordic nation did not give up. As World War II started, conflict in Europe was escalating. Nazi Germany was eyeing the entirety of the continent. After the conquering of France, Germany turned its eyes on the Soviet Union. Operation Barbarossa The unexpected blitzkrieg invasion of the Soviet Union came in the middle of summer, 1941. Nazi Germany was quickly devouring the giant Soviet nation. Seeing the Red Army distracted from the invasion, the Finnish army took this chance. While the Soviets were weak, and along with financial support from Germany, the Finnish started an invasion to regain their land. Taken again by surprise, the Soviet army retreated. Being led by the wind of victory, the Finnish army took over most of the lost territories. This was the Continuation War, the war continuing the Winter War. As the Finnish conquered the Russian town of Viborg, they noticed seemingly random explosions happening across town. This caused great casualties because the explosions were unpredictable. Days later, a package filled with explosives was dug up under the Moonlight Bridge. This was quickly delivered to Finnish headquarters for review. Engineers discovered that these were radio mines left behind by the Soviets as they were retreating. The mines had three iron rods that vibrate at different frequencies, like a triad. If all three rods vibrated at the same time, the mine would explode. This was triggered by radio signals playing these exact frequencies. And each mine had different frequencies. If the Soviets wanted to damage specific infrastructure like bridges and roads, all they have to do is... On September 1st, the Finnish broadcasting company drove a broadcasting car into the town. The plan? To repeatedly broadcast on the same radio frequency as the mines, so the signals for detonation cannot pass through. Seki Arvin Porka was chosen to be played. It was a patriotic Finnish song about the land of Karelia and the Finnish culture. And it worked! Imagine being a Soviet transmitter trying to send a signal to a mine and all you hear is this. With the radio mines jammed, the Finns can march safely again. They continued to attack, and at one point even being able to reach Leningrad, a crucial city of Russia. Seki Arvin Polka played for three months on the radio, until the mine's batteries died out. This story was told throughout Finnish generations. It's about the ingenuity of humans, David against Goliath, and the music of history and war.